Synod on Synodality. Walking together. With whom? With the devil. Why? The Synod on Synodality in the Catholic Church is trying to find solutions to issues that both tradition and sacred scriptures have already defined. It is the very Word of God that has spoken clearly and allows no change unless the devil achieves it. Despite the spiritual reality of the Word of God, this modern papacy seeks to promote modern changes that put the Church in conflict with God. Among the topics to be discussed during this meeting is priestly celibacy, something that is unchangeable. As confirmation, the Virgin Mary told St. Bridget in her book Revelations, chapter 10, that a Pope who abolished priestly celibacy would be totally deprived by God of his spiritual sight and hearing, and his spiritual wisdom would become completely cold. The Virgin added that after his death, his soul would be cast out to be eternally tormented in hell, where he would become permanently and endlessly food for the demons. This synod also promotes the inclusion of married men as priests, something that contradicts celibacy confirmed by Pope Calixtus II in the First Lateran Council in the 12th century. The synod seeks to favor the blessing of same-sex couples, which is an abomination before God, who created man for woman and woman for man. It also wants to generalize access to the sacraments for divorced people, a thing that Francis initiated in his encyclical Amoris Laetitia. In other words, people in adultery can receive Holy Communion and offend God with the Church's blessing. And finally, by seeking the ordination of women to the diaconate, we have another controversial issue. Let us remember what St. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 14 verses 34 to 35. Let the women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted for them to speak, but to be in subjection, as the law also says. And if they desire to learn anything, let them ask their own husbands at home, for it is shameful for a woman to speak in the Church. What the Synod on Synodality seeks is to contradict the Word of God, to give free reign to modernism and false mercy, to ecclesiastical Freemasonry, promoted in the encyclical Fratelli Tutti. Be very careful, Catholic brothers and sisters. Let us not be deceived. Let us pray for the devil to leave the Church.